Yes, my guest tonight is former Israeli Minister of Communications and former Minister of Welfare and Social Services, Moshe Kahlon, leader of one of the newest parties on the Israeli political map, the centrist Ulanu Party. Mr. Kahlon, thank you very much for coming to the studio. So, Mr. Kahlon, you know, you were one of the biggest promises in Israeli politics, and you made some really extreme changes in the political map. You managed to actually change the social lives that we're living here in Israel. And one bright day, you decided that you had enough. And I always said to myself that the first time that I'm going to meet you, I'm going to ask you why. Why did you decide when you were at the top to get up and leave? I decided to leave the politics. Actually, let's uh, say that I came to the Likud politics because of the economic and social issues, and I left the Likud and the political life because of the same subjects. The party I was in uh, deserted that way, and the moment it deserted that way, and they don't have sensitivity, no mercy, I decided to leave. I waited for a while. I thought things would change. Maybe they'll go in my direction. The moment I saw that it's not happening, I decided decided to establish the party together with other members that will lead the sensitivity, the mercy, and the economic and social reforms. And for that, we have to have a new party and to have seats to be in the Ministry of Finance and to do the things we believe in. That's the reason. You waited two years. There you are. Thank you very much for the answer uh, that you gave me. So basically what you're telling me, and one of the claims, is that if we're looking at the Likud party right now, it's not the same Likud of 10 years ago. It's not the same leaders. It's not the same point of view. It's not the same, uh, let's say, in one way or another, the way that uh, you see it, the social issues are not what went wrong. What went wrong in this party? I think that in Likud, in the last uh, few years, the Likud uh, uh, dealt more with the political security issues. The moment you shift to one direction, then you desert another uh, pillar. And today, the Likud deals with security, you can agree or not, but I came to the social and economic issues. They're not dealt with. And therefore, I made the decision. And there's nothing we can do. We're trying today to build clusters, blocks, you see, right and left. But we want to be in the social center. And that's why every party is going to drag to its own way. But it's easier to recruit uh, voters uh, uh, by wide, right and uh, left. Uh, the uh, left said if there's no uh, peace, it'll be a disaster. And the right says that if there'll be peace, it'll be a disaster. We say neither. We want to take care of the citizens of the state of Israel, the housing, the cost of living, uh, the the social gaps, the elderly, the children, the handicapped, uh, the young couples, uh, the soldiers. That's what we want to do. That's why we go for a social government, not right nor left. Before I will ask you who is the one to blame for this situation that we got, um, I want to take you, because you're talking about these issues and you're specifically talking about these issues because you know these issues. You're coming from a big family, from uh, a small town where you saw, where you lived each and every day, these difficulties that you're talking about. And it seems that this is something uh, hard. How hard was it for you to convince people right now that it's not about right and left? It's about actually the daily lives that we're living here and we're not managed to actually live it. Well, yes, there is that difficulty. People are more uh, drawn to right and left. And I said the two leaders of both parties uh, pull them there because they don't have an answer. They cannot explain why the prices of housing went up 17 percent. They don't explain why 60 uh, percent in the last five years, why the cost of living is so high. It's true, it's difficult, but we see the polls and we're very encouraged. The polls say that most of the public is going to vote on the 17th of March with the social economic issues uh, at the top. So I hope that what we call uh, reason and logic will come back, our daily life will come back, and we will be able to get uh, votes according to what people care about and not by the fear and threats that this is going to happen or this is going to happen, a disaster here, disaster there. I'm saying 
A disaster is not going to happen. Sometimes we don't have an impact on what happens outside. And the politicians like to deal with things that they cannot impact. Because if they don't impact, they have no responsibility. We deal with things that we do have an impact, and we take responsibility. Because you're a centrist uh, uh, party, um, I'm watching the political map, and I see that the left is going more to the social issues. The right is going more to the security issues. You are at the center, and I believe that the security and the social issues are very important for you. Who will you go with at the end of the day? We're going to go with a social government. We don't disqualify neither Buji nor Netanyahu. We're going to go for a social party. Anybody who will want our platform and actually insincerely is going to solve the uh, uh, gaps and the social economic issues, the housing crisis. We're going to go. We're not in the pocket of anybody. There were all sorts of spins in the air. Kahlon is with us. He's not. I tell you, here and now, we're not in anybody's pocket. We're in the public's pocket. Anybody who gives us our agenda we're going to go with. You know, your home base is the Likud party, and you're coming from the Likud party. If after the elections you will decide that you're not going to choose Benjamin Netanyahu, wouldn't that be an act of uh, betrayal on your home party, on your home ground, if you are planning maybe in the future to get back to the Likud, to get back and gather with your friends, with your former brothers, and uh, to uh, run for the head, to be the head of the Likud, or to run for the prime minister. At the end of the day, you might pay a price. You're not afraid about that? Lucy, Lucy, I left the Likud not in order to go back to the Likud. I left the Likud in order to establish a social, economic, different party, which doesn't exist. And that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the getting the number of votes in order to get the Ministry of Finance and from there to create changes. All the other things are not part of our agenda. I believe that it's not easy for you to uh, do this campaign, because uh, from what I'm seeing in the Israeli, let's say, sphere, um, from what I'm seeing with what is happening in the Israeli society, the issues that Israel is dealing with, uh, unfortunately, 2015 is still between Ashkenazi Jews and uh, Sephardi Jews. And it's amazing. You're coming, of course, from the Sephardi um, aspect. Let's put it in uh, this, or sector, let's uh, give it this word. Um, it is hard. How come the Israeli society in 2015 is still looking at you not like Moshe Kahlon, but like Moshe Kahlon the Sephardi? I don't agree with you. I, of course, I come from this Sephardi community, and that's okay, but my entire track, I uh, advanced very nicely. I can't complain to anybody. I can only thank the State of Israel for the opportunity it gave all of us that we developed and we advanced. Uh, we are not at this place. We have a mixed uh, list. We have a joint agenda for uh, Sephardi and Ashkenazi men, women, Arabs, uh, Jews. Uh, uh, we see it ourselves. Is. Uh, it is, is. And, and I agree with you. But the thing is that you cannot ignore the fact that what is happening right now in Israel, it's not actually Kulanu. It's them and us. It's Arab yeah. and Jews. It's Sephardi and Ashkenazi. It's minorities against majorities. And Kulanu, it's a nice idea and it's a good idea. And this is how the Israeli society should be. But it's not the reality of Israel. We are going to kill this issue of we and them. We are together, all of us, not them and us. All our agenda talks about all of us. It talks about the smallest village in the Galilee to the biggest city in the center. And when we talk about social gaps, uh, Lucy, it bothers everybody. If we talk about cost of living, everybody is bothered. If we talk about uh, housing crisis, everybody is bothered by that. It's not we and them. It's all of us together. That's our agenda, and that's the agenda we want to advance. And I have no doubt, and we'll meet after the elections, we are going to get the support both of the non-Jewish sector and the Arabs and the rich and the poor and the uh, middle classes. Everybody believes in the you know same thing. I'm taking your promise about the fact that we're going to meet after after the election, and I wish you great luck in these elections. You deserve it. Moshe Kahlon, thank you very, very much for this. And thank you, our viewers, for being with us tonight. Tomorrow we will be here. No, we won't. It's the weekend. We will be here on Sunday at the same time, same place, from the Jeff Report. Have a